welcome back as promised i'm going to discuss the very important theorem on circles that is the angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc in the remaining part of the circle i'll be discussing step by step proof of this theorem as well and here is the explanation along with the proof let us consider we have a circle with center o and pq is an arc which subtends an angle poq at the center of the circle center is o let a be a point which lies in the remaining part of the circle then the angle paq will have to be half of angle poq means angle paq will be half of angle poq and the theorem states that angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc in the remaining part of the circle and let us see the proof of this theorem how can we prove this theorem so this is a figure which we have and in this figure what is given to us we are given a circle with center o and arc pq subtends an angle p o q at the center and p a q such that a lies in the remaining segment of the circle now what we are going to prove is angle p o q is twice this angle is twice angle p a q for which i need to do a construction i will join a o and extend it to point b yeah and all the angles which i have obtained i will mark these angles as angle 1 2 3 4 5 up to 6 i'll be using these this numbering uh, for the proof of the theorem and there will be three different cases the first one pq is a minor arc pq is a semicircle and the third one is pq is a major arc and here are the figures in first figure pq is a minor arc second figure it's a semicircle and the third one it is a major arc and in all these cases angle 1 is equal to angle 2 plus 3 because of exterior angle theorem if you look at triangle a o p in all the cases triangle a o p angle 1 is the exterior angle 2 and 3 are interior opposite angles therefore 1 equals to 2 plus 3 moreover in triangle aop you will observe that ao is equals to op because these are the radii of the circle and if these two sides of a triangle are equal then the theorem states that the angles opposite the opposite angles are angle 3 and angle 2 will also be equal and if i use it in equation number 1 so what will i get i will get angle 1 equal to twice of angle 3 means instead of angle 2 i can always write angle 3 as these two are equal similarly in other triangle that is triangle a o q we will have angle 4 is equal to twice of angle 5 and if i add equation number 3 and equation number 4 let us add these two two equations we will get angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to two times angle 3 plus 5 and angle 1 plus 4 is nothing but angle poq and angle 3 plus 5 is nothing but angle paq and we will get angle poq is equal to twice of angle paq yeah two will come here twice of angle paq and in third case 
the only difference is we will write a word reflex because it's the angle is greater than 180 degree we will use a reflex angle so reflex angle poq is equal to twice angle pao and hence the proof of the theorem thank you friends for watching the video and if you like this video click on like button subscribe for more videos i'll be coming next time with another topic till then thank you and have a nice day